I'm Pauline Bennett and I'm Head of Psychology and Counselling at La Trobe University. On top of that I do research and I do teaching in a particular part of psychology. So I'm interested in how people and dogs live together and how that works really well and sometimes not so well. So I thought I was going to ride horses and I did that for about four or five years and then I decided I really needed to go back to university and get a job that I could see myself doing way into the future. So I came back and I started studying and I didn't know even then what I wanted to do. Because I could never decide what to do, I just did extra things. So I did honours, which is about really dedicating a period of time to studying a particular area. One of the really cool things about learning how to be a scientist is that you become interested in everything. And one of the things I noticed was that people's relationships with their pets were super important to them. I had students who wanted to do research in that area and I wanted to find out more about it. So I was really lucky at La Trobe because people here um, spent money to develop a dog lab for me and refurbish this beautiful space where I could bring dogs in from the community and we could do really nice experiments with them. We're doing a really cool experiment at the moment where we're training dogs to sniff out endangered animals. So I've got a student, Nick Rutter, and he's doing a PhD and he's got about 20 people from Bendigo who come in every weekend and they spend their weekends training their dogs to sniff out endangered animals and they're now starting to work in the areas around Bendigo to find animals that we couldn't otherwise find. And that's really nice because it's using the human-dog relationship to do important conservation work in the community. Everybody thinks that dogs are colour blind, but we've done experiments and our dogs can tell the difference between red and green balls really easily. We're interested in what they can detect with their noses. There's a few experiments now that show that dogs can detect cancer by sniffing it out. Veterans who have post-traumatic stress disorder or children that have autism spectrum disorder or people who are depressed or people who are anxious or people who may even be suicidal feel much better when they have their dog with them. So having a good relationship with a dog can be life-saving for people. And that means that we need to understand the dog and the human and how that relationship works. You have to be passionate about what you want to do. Find what it is, and you might not know what it is, so do something until you find it out. Because it's not like you get out of bed in the morning and think, hey, I want to do this with my career, or I want to have this job. You grab opportunities when they come along, and you see where they take you.